Hello everybody, my name is Ilea and this is my little demo video. Um, in this demo, I'm going to be teaching how to draw from a reference, how to draw using shapes, and how to draw only using felt tip pens. All right, welcome to my little drawing table here. Today for this demo, we're going to be drawing this cute little baby lion. Now, when you're drawing from a photo like this, the photo is called your reference, your reference photo. It's what we're going to be referring back to so that we, we can see that our sketch is looking like what we want it to look like. So first we're going to find the main shape of our little baby lion here. And that shape is a rectangle, just like that. The entire shape of the baby lion all fits within this little rectangle. So let me just draw that on our space here. Nice little rectangle of our baby lion. It doesn't have to be perfect, it just has to show this is how big our baby lion is, this is kind of the shape of our baby lion. Now the next step is to find the rest of the shapes. So we have that one of the most obvious shapes is his head here. It's kind of like an octagon type shape, right? So let's just draw that. It's kind of like, like this. And it's about at this point within the uh, the rectangle of where our little baby lion is. So there's his head. His little body is kind of like a little square there. So let's draw kind of a little square for where his body is. And then we got his two little arms right here and his little paws. So his arms are kind of, this one is kind of at an angle here. So we're just gonna draw that at a little bit of an angle, just like that. And it's kind of like a little, another little rectangle for his, this little, that little arm. His other little arm is also at an angle and also in the shape of rectangle. So we're gonna draw another little rectangle kind of at a, at an angle, just like that. Uh, let's see, to finish him off, I'm just gonna do his little, his little paws as like little ovals at the end, right here and right there. So this is really easy. It's easy to start off like this instead of looking at this reference and thinking, oh my gosh, where do I begin? Always begin with simple shapes that make sense. So just like we did the, uh, the whole body of this little lion, we're also going to do his face the same way, where you're looking for the shapes within the face. So within this little octagon right here, right, we have two little circles for his eyes and maybe like a little square at the bottom of that octagon for where his little nose and his little cheeks are. So let's draw that in. What I like to do um, to make sure that all the shapes are in the right place, especially for any kind of face, is I like to uh, to cut it into three pieces. Um, so right, right here and right here, that's about right here and right here of the octagon. And that's just where the little eyes are. So now we know kind of where the eyes are gonna be. Put little shape, little circles for eyes right there. And then if you can see, his little, um, his little face actually makes lines right here connecting the eyes, the eye shape, to his, uh, his little muzzle shape right here. So that makes it nice and easy. We can just draw that right there. And as you can see, it's kind of coming together, the shape of that little face. It's got his little eyes, his little muzzle. He's got this kind of a, uh, this cute little, you know, kitty face like this, where you have the kind of almost like a W shape with the little rectangle on top there. He's got that because he's a little kitty. So we're going to just add that to the bottom here, a little kind of a, almost a W shape. And then his little rectangle nose. And just like his eyes right here, from his nose, he's got little lines too. So we're just gonna add that in, just like that. 
So his ears are kind of, they're kind of like triangles, but they're rounded. So just imagine a triangle with a round top like that. And another triangle with a round top like that. And you pretty much got, you know, his ears there. Let's see, and I said a little bit of fuzz at the bottom of his of his face like that. Give him a little fuzz, maybe a little fuzz on the edges. And now we can start doing uh, smaller details to make him look more like what he's what we want him to look like. Giving him maybe a little fuzz in the ear here. A little fuzz on top of his head. Just like that. I'm going to put in his little tiny pupils in his eyes. And now we're starting to have ourselves a real little baby lion. He's really coming along and he's looking like more like a baby lion instead of just shapes. Just going to fill in his nose because he's got a little black nose. And there you have your nice little your nice little lion head. And in order to finish this this drawing, we would do the same thing for the rest of his body. So, you know, we can connect the uh, the shapes here to give him more of a little a little body. You see how his uh, his arms kind of jut out from his from his chest a little bit. So we're gonna leave that in because that's kind of what his arms do. He's got a little bit of fuzz right below here where his neck is, so let's give him a little fuzz right there. Right? And his the little, his rear end kind of comes up and over that ear, so let's draw that. Here's his ear. There's his little rear end there. And then each of his little toes are like little circles within themselves, so just go to your where your uh, paws are and just draw those little circles just like that alrighty since I'm uh, just running a little low on time with this video I uh, I went over some of our shapes that we made with this nice kind of a dark red color I put in some uh, some detailing with the face and I even shaded with the uh, the original yellow color that we were using so that all of our background sketch just kind of goes away. And so in conclusion, we have our cute little baby lion that we just drew up. I taught you guys what a reference photo is, how to draw from a reference photo, how to understand drawing with shapes, and how to draw only using felt tip pens. I, um, I really thank you guys at uh, the class over for this opportunity to teach, and I had a blast making this video, and I really hope I get to teach with you guys very soon. Thank you so much.